Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to give a quick preview of the inverse kinematics that I've been working on in my robot lab. Uh, I really started focusing on Danovit Hartenberg parameters for doing uh, the forward kinematics and using a, a gradient descent approach for uh, computing the, the final position. So uh, ignore all that stuff and uh, we've got the, the inverse kinematics 3D service here that I've started up. Uh, in the GUI and I've got a little Python script and I'll take you through this. Basically it starts the kinematics. We pick a point in space, the first point and the ending point. We say, And then we go through and we say that we want to take a hundred steps between that point and that, the start and the end. Uh, we're going to wait a tenth of a second between each step. So we're just going to do a linear movement here so we compute uh, the delta x, delta y, and delta z for each step to move in a straight line. And then we start out at our, our current position, so we say ik3d move to, and we do a, a loop here for 100 iterations, or it really should be num steps, I guess, uh, where we take the current position, we, we add a, a little small bit to the x, y, and z's, and we move to that new position and we sleep for the one tenth of a second. So down here we have a 3JS uh, canvas that is rendering uh, basically just a line segment for each position. Uh, here in the inverse kinematics GUI we have an X box, a Y box, and a Z box. And you click the move to and it will compute how to get to that point there. Now I can set this to like 200 for example, 300, and you can see that it's basically moving. That was in the Z plane. So the axes here is Z, X, and Y goes up on the screen. I modeled it off after the uh, MRPT, Mobile Robotics Programming Toolkit, um, that I've been using to help design the uh, DH parameters for the, the in-move arm. Anyway, so here's the, the OMO plate and stuff. Um, and you notice that the z-axis in this orientation is pointing straight at you and the x-axis is here so this weird blob of, of lines is, uh, is really actually the same thing as, as this one here. Um, as, uh, as the position of the arm updates you see the GUI updates with the position of each individual link um, or joint in the, in the system as well as the individual angles for the omoplate shoulder uh, rotate and bicep. <clears throat> so if I click execute here what we should expect to see is that we're going to see the end of the arm here which is the bicep move in a straight line across from the starting point to the ending point as defined by 100, 100, 100 uh, or 300, 100, 100. That's it.